much. And now to CBS 4's Hank Tester, who has more now at the high school with how the victims are being remembered. Time to reflect the first steps in the healing process this night at the First Presbyterian Church in Pompano Beach, remembering all the victims of the Parkland School Massacre, the second vigil in as many nights. Grief lingers and comes in different ways, so mm -hmm. the ability to light a candle, to sing a song, to pray helps everyone with that process. And the first of the funerals, early morning, family and friends remember 14-year-old Alyssa Alhadif a promising school soccer player, debate club member, services at the Star of David Cemetery in North Lauderdale. Also just hours later, a second funeral at the same location, 18-year-old Meadow Pollock. She was all set to attend Lynn University in Boca Raton. Alyssa Alhedef remembered. Alyssa was the person that um, was always happy and wanted to cheer everyone up and just like stay as positive. Others this day dealing with the horror, Jonathan Blank spoke to CBS4's Lisa Portello. Um, yes, many bullets were shot through my class. Um, I believe four people were shot in my class and two people actually did pass away in my class right in front of me. Oh my God, who, who were the ones that passed away? Um, their names are Nick and Helena. What was going through? You must have been scared to death. I was in complete shock. I had no idea what was going on. Um, it just all happened way too quickly. Other families working on funeral arrangements, announcements to come. Survivors beginning, as you saw right there, the slow process of healing, talking about it. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you. Hank, thank you.